Small service was held to mark one year since the peace in northern Myanmar was broken. Most of the people in Kachin state are Christian in what is a predominantly Buddhist country. Not far away, a much more violent scene has been playing out for the past year. In June last year, a 17-year ceasefire came to an end and the fighting continues. In this footage, shot last month, the Kachin Independence Army is trying to hold off the advance of government forces towards rebel-held towns. Soldiers from the Myanmar or Burmese army can be seen walking through a recently seized village. This territory is very important for us because it's very close to our headquarters in Liza. But the Burmese actually had control of this area during the ceasefire, so they still want to keep it. The Kachin, along with rebel armies in other states, have been fighting for greater autonomy. The government has reached ceasefire deals with most, but not the Kachin Independence Army. It's estimated more than 60,000 people are now in refugee camps inside Myanmar and across the border in China. Many of them arrive here with stories of abuse at the hands of government soldiers. Times are particularly tough in the rainy season, and getting an adequate supply of food is always a challenge. I just worry about what will happen in my children's time. I've had to run away from my home seven times. I lived through the Japanese occupation and I remember the Japanese chasing us out of here with fighter jets. But this is a domestic conflict in which an increasing number of civilians are the victims. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok. Argentina's president has used the 30th anniversary.